Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Blue Moon's Gingerbread Spiced Ale Limited release introduced in 2013. Uh, it's an ale with ginger, spices, and molasses. Some people hate molasses. I like molasses. It's like the sludge that's left over when you're making sugar. Um, this is 5.9% alcohol. It has 16 international bitterness units. They use pale, Munich, caramel, and wheat malts. So three barley malts and one wheat malt. Harlotar are the hops. Ginger, nutmeg, like I already said, the molasses, cinnamon, and allspice. Or what is that? Alligator pepper. Gets an okay score in Beer Advocate, like a C. A 37 out of 100 on Rate Beer, 42 out of 100 for the style. So the reviews aren't too good. There's only like two video reviews. Uh, Albino Rhino, I was, I didn't get to finish watching it. And um, Tanya Makowski, I haven't seen hers yet. So I'd be curious. Wow, that came off. That cap came off with almost no resistance. Was it on tight enough? It's a shame about the shock top. Um, ooh, look at all that smoke. Um, John Sharon, when we were doing the winter beer, winter beers video, uh, you know, live hang out, hang out on air. Um, he was bragging on it, and then I called the distributor today for Shock Top Southern Eagle in Metairie, Louisiana, and the guy called me back a little while ago, and he said, uh, "Sorry, but we don't carry the variety packs for Shock Top because he said no one ever asked for it." And I guess when they tried to sell them in the past, the sales were poor. So, now he said maybe north of the lake, Lake Pontchartrain, or in Baton Rouge they might have it. He said, but the New Orleans distributor doesn't fool with it. So, sorry to hear that. Not much had on this. I don't, I don't guess a tulip glass is the proper glass. I don't know. It's gotten cloudy outside, so I didn't even bother opening the shades. But it's a brown thing, you know. Like a rust brown, copper almost. The uh, even if I had the shades open, I don't think it might have some sediment, but it seems mostly clear. Yes. So let's go with the aroma. Oh wow, that is spicy. See, I think the main problem I have with flavored beers is fruit. I can barely force myself to eat fruit. Like every day I'll eat an orange because I know I should have it, you know, but I don't really like it and I can't stand fruit juice. I drink it, you know, if I'm out of fresh fruit, but I don't really like it. The spices and the, the, the peppers, that doesn't bother me so much. Like cinnamon and molasses, sugar, but not, it's just the fruit juice, something about it I don't like. I used to like it when I was younger, but I turned against it. This smells like alligator pepper and sweetness and Roman meal bread. Mm. Now, I'm not saying I like spiced beers. I'm saying if I'm going to have a flavor beer, I'd rather the ones that are spice oriented than the ones that are fruit oriented. I'd rather just drink unadulterated beer. They say this is certified kosher. Someone was saying, how can that be kosher? I said, I don't know. I don't do the certification. I'm just telling you it says it's kosher. Well, you can, you can hear that electric heater running up. It tastes like brown bread. You know, it's not heavily roasted barley malts. A little bit of sugar, a little bit, not a whole lot. Some spices, for sure. Um, when I say sugar, I mean the molasses, you know, the dregs. Nutmeg, eh, yeah, I guess so. All of that's not too heavy in, in overall, and in not in their individual characters. So it's not overly spiced, thank goodness. Gingerbread cookie. After all, it's called gingerbread. Oh, I guess it is in that realm. The mouth feels light to medium. 
the finish is semi dry it's easy going I like it better than the regular blue moon and that goes back to my aversion to fruit beers my daughter is big into fruit so she likes the blue moon with the orange wedge or orange peel so that is a personal preference issue and it, oftentimes we will take our personal preference and we'll judge the beer on that and we'll say and we'll judge the quality of it the quality of this beer is fine okay like pretty much anything from Molson Coors or Anna's Bush InBev or <coughs> SAB Miller Carlsberg Group Heineken International those big ones the quality is going to be there I mean their consistency is good you drink one it's going to taste the same as all the rest and their quality control is is magnificent and I'm not judging on that it's just kind of ho-hum <laughs> like beer advocates saying so it's got a strong allspice thing more than any of the other spices I'll give it a B it's good I'm gonna say it's better than a C it's good but the Mountain Abbey Ale to me is better to me it's better you might think this is better anyway I, I would say it's certainly worth trying though so if you want to try something a little different not you know big time different but a little different check it out you might like it it's not particularly strong or, or uh, too um, harsh or anything like that so I'll enjoy the rest of it B good beer and laissez les bon temps roulet y'all come on down to New Orleans